Hello. Where are we right now? Uh, we're in Chensafong, but the new park. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go. Chensafong can be found in the French concession of Shanghai near Dapuchiao district. And this is a street market and more of a traditional alleyway. It was originally constructed in the 1930s and it served as residential housing. And surprisingly, although it looks old, it stayed that way until 1998, where the Shanghai government started a special streets construction to bring new life to the area. And since then, they've had artists, restaurants, galleries, and other small shops, small businesses go into Chensafang and recently they have rebuilt a new part um, and expanded the alleyways. Our hunt for food continued, and there are so many different food options to try in Tiansafang. We are looking at Tibet menu. cheese fries and Eva got Chinese spaghetti noodles with beef? Yeah, beef? black pepper beef. Oh, nice. It's raining. <laughs> After dinner, we stumbled upon a little tea house where a lovely lady showed us the tea fountains. Big. If traditional Chinese alleyways aren't your thing, maybe I can tempt you with Lao Waiji, a western street full of restaurants. Historically, this area was a train station going from Nanjing to Beijing. Now, it is a triple A scenic area and a landmark for Shanghai. Do it, do it, do it, 
Now YG hosts a range of different markets throughout the year and a beer festival which is what we're going to today. are up your alley then you can head to found 158. We headed to Nomad, a bohemian style restaurant and bar to drink for Eva's birthday. So the menu you can choose your drink based on your mood and then down here it tells you what type of drink you should have depending on your mood. So I'm feeling balanced so transparent or white tones encouraging creative skills for our bartenders to sustain your balanced mood. I'm also quite chilled which is probably why I like fruit berries and flowers. I went for a chilled four roses whiskey with sweet undertones and this one is the same but with rum instead of whiskey. They have a no shoes policy on the floor, um, which is quite interesting. They also gave us blankets. You can also get shisha here, which was fun for us and a great way to celebrate Eva's birthday. Happy birthday, Eva! Happy birthday. Thank you for watching and join us next episode on Expat Naps.